You can feel it. You can feel it in the air. You can feel it in the air here in the state of Texas. You can feel it in the air in the great city of Dallas. You can feel it in the air. It's quiet here. Hours away from the biggest smackdown ever. Hours away from the biggest smackdown at the American Airlines Arena here in Dallas, Texas. But where we're at right now, where the mana runs strong, just as sure as the rock is covered in chills already here at the Mesquite Rodeo Arena. The rock's got his belt buckle on, top hand. The rock's got his cowboy hat on, and he's ready to go. The rock has been here in Dallas, here in Texas, for days waiting, for days anticipating, for days waiting for a punk and a goof to finally arrive. Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins, the Rock and Roman Reigns. We challenged you last Friday, challenged you to the biggest WrestleMania of all time, the biggest tag match of all time, the Universal Champion Roman Reigns and the Rock, the People's Champion, against Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins on night one of WrestleMania. You went out on Monday night. You went out on Monday night. You went out on Raw and you both grabbed the microphones. And the crowd was waiting. They were anticipating. The world was waiting. What are they going to say? How are they going to come back? What kind of fire are they going to spit? What kind of gospel are they going to drop? And would you both do? What's that thing? What's the thing that, what's the thing we did? Hey, brother, what was that? That's right. You shit the bed. That's what you did. One guy, that punk Cody Rhodes, gets out and he runs his mouth. All angry, talking angry like you're scaring somebody. You ain't scaring anybody. Then what the other goof do? The walking clown emoji gets on the microphone. He talks about diarrhea. Diarrhea. <laughs> Is that what you do? Is that how you two goofs respond to the biggest challenge of all time? And then you wait. And then you wait until Raw went off the air. No more Raw. USA Network, no more Raw. You wait till it's off the air when it's safe. You wait till it's off the air and what'd you do? Seth Rollins, you grab the microphone. Now, now that Raw's off the air, oh, I could say some truth. I could say how I really feel. The Rock is full of shit. <laughs> the Rock is full of shit when it goes off the air, when it's safe. Let The Rock tell you something right now, brother. The Rock is a lot of things. He's a lot of things, but full of shit ain't one of them. It ain't one of them. Do you think Seth Rollins, Cody Rhodes, if you two goofs were a little smarter, you'd understand how stupid you sound. Do you think that The Rock has gotten to where he's gotten in life because he's full of shit? Do you think The Rock has been fortunate enough, blessed enough to work his ass off, be the hardest worker in the room? Achieved what he's achieved. You think all that is because The Rock is full of shit, brother? You got another thing coming. Do you think <laughs> that half the country wants The Rock to run for president? And The Rock ain't even a politician. The Rock hates politics. Half the country wants The Rock to run for president. Because he's full of shit? Uh-uh. Boy, it ain't because he's full of shit. It's because he's the opposite. It's because he tells the truth. It's because The Rock says it like it is. The Rock says what the people need to hear. The Rock says what the people want to hear. That's why. And Seth Rollins, Cody Rhodes, do you think that The Rock has become the most followed American man in the world. Let The Rock say it again, because it sounds like gospel, because it is. You think The Rock, the most followed American man in the world. Brother, it ain't because he's full of shit. It's because he ain't full of shit. And whether you love The Rock or you don't love The Rock, world respects the rock because he ain't full of shit 
because a rock tells it like it is because a rock is and will forever be the people's champion and you know what that means that means that the rock will say what the people want to hear that means the rock will do what the people want him to do because the rock is the one who says the things that they want to say the rock is the one who says the things that the people wish they could say that the people wish they could say against the system and against goofs like you but they can't that's okay because the rock can and the rock does so you see my friends Seth, your walking clown emoji, the rock ain't the one full of shit, Jack. You're the one that's full of shit because you wait until the show is over. You wait until broadcast can't do anything to you. So speaking of broadcast, last week, everyone complaining on, 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 on Friday Night Smackdown, what's going on? My TV is blacked out during certain times of the rock's promo, what's happening? In certain pockets across the country, well, here's what happened. Standards and practices, baby. Standards and practices, they get nervous now. When The Rock has a live microphone in his hand and the world is watching, they got nervous when The Rock went to Phoenix and The Rock dropped the gospel. Phoenix, Arizona, the number one city in the country for cocaine and meth use. And The Rock called them all, you cactus-loving crackheads. And they booed, but they cheered. They hated it, but they loved it. Because The Rock said the truth. Every woman in the arena, you want to go one-on-one -on -one with The Rock. The sexiest man alive. Yay! The women cheered. And The Rock said, settle down, you crackhead Karens. Settle down, you methhead Marys. You're not ready for The Rock, and you know it. They loved it. They hated it. They cheered. They booed. Standards and practices, though. Push the button. They push the button because they want to control the rock. Just like they push the buttons, like they want to control the people. But you can't control the rock, you can't control the people. And the rock is the people's champion. And that's why, Seth, you idiot. And that's why, Cody, you chicken shit. That's why the rock is the people's champion. So, standards and practices, you can get scared all you want, you can have your finger on the button, and you should. Because there ain't nobody, and the rock means nobody that will tell it like it is more than The Rock, the people's champion. So tonight in Dallas, Texas, standards and practices, get ready. Tonight in Dallas, Texas, that walking clown emoji, Seth Rollins, you get ready. And tonight, Cody Rhodes, you get ready too. Because you gotta come to Dallas where The Rock has been waiting. Where The Rock has been waiting, you come to Dallas and you give us your answer. Whether you're gonna go two on two, with The Rock and Roman Reigns at WrestleMania and put on the biggest WrestleMania of all time. So Seth Rollins, your walking clown show, Cody Rhodes, your chicken shit goof, you, and also your goofy ass dog, Pharaoh. That's his name, Pharaoh. Hey, hey, Pharaoh. Hey, Pharaoh. Don't call that dog Pharaoh. Call him shithead. That's what you should call him. So Seth Rollins, Cody Rhodes, shithead, and all the Cody crybabies out there and standards and practices, you listen to The Rock right now. When The Rock has that microphone live as the people's champion, The Rock will and will always and forever tell it like it is. So Cody, Seth, crybabies, and that shithead dog of yours, Pharaoh, standards and practices, off is the direction you can fuck. You come to Texas, boy. The Rock is waiting for you. Cody, The Rock and Roman, we're waiting for you. Seth, what are you gonna do? You gonna come and cackle? You gonna come and cackle and dance? You gonna dance again for everybody? Is that what you're gonna do? Huh? You got just as much of rhythm and soul as the horse shit that's in this arena. You guys, you come to Dallas, Texas, where The Rock is waiting, where Roman reigns, we are waiting. Because when I die, I may not go to heaven. I don't know if they let outlaws in. If they don't, just let me go to Texas. 
Texas is as close as I've been. If you smell what the rock is cooking. Cody Rhodes, one more message for you, boy. Now and forever. Fuck your story. <laughs>